Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is pull or open our banana flower. So we're gonna remove the petals. These are the banana flowers in there with the fruit. And you just wanna do that. Now you can see that it's a little bit on the brown side. When you don't get it fresh, this is how it looks. But that's okay, you can still use it. So the next thing you wanna do is take your fruit that you took out from inside of the flower and we're gonna cut this up into small pieces. Now some she just wanna mix and we're gonna leave this in here while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. So guys, here are my aromatics that I'm going to use to impart a lot of flavor into this fritter. I have an onion, I have a red mini bell pepper, an orange and a yellow, some garlic, one, you can use some pimento peppers, I'm using a Mad Hatter's pepper, it's very flavorful, it's very similar to a pimento pepper, so you can get that, I got this at Food Town Supermarket, and then I'm using a hot pepper, I have scallions, celery, and culantro or bandania. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and cut up all of these ingredients really fine. Now. So my skillet, I'm going to go in with some coconut oil from Nariel. When your oil is hot, go in with your aromatics that you chopped up. I'm gonna season with some salt. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you, if you wanted to add some salt fish to this recipe, or even some shrimp or some chicken pieces, you can. And I went in with some black pepper. I'm just gonna toss. So you just wanna allow these to sweat until they're very fragrant and they start it in a light brown color. I'm going to go in with those chopped banana flowers or the fruit, the very young fruit. I'm adding in a little bit of salt on what I just put in because you season as you go. And then you want to toss. And we're going to allow this to cook for one minute because we have to fry this again. So you don't need it to cook thoroughly, but we want to bring out the flavors. So just one minute would be fine. So this is finished. I'm just gonna set it aside and allow it to cool down slightly. So two cups of all-purpose flour. So to my flour, I'm going to go in with half of a teaspoon of yeast, baking powder, and to season my flour, and you have to add some salt to the flour, I'm going to go in with some all-purpose seasoning that contains salt. Give this a mix. Now to my flour, I'm going to go in with my vegetable mixture. So I'm just going to mix that in. I'm going to add in some turmeric. And now we're going to add enough lukewarm water to bring this together to form a soft dough. So what you want to do now is mix this really well to incorporate all of those ingredients. So I used one cup of water. You want to add a little at a time. Some of you may need more, some may need less, depending on the brand of flour that you're using. So I'm just going to mix this for about two minutes. You want to develop that gluten in there. Once you finish mixing your mixture, you want to allow it to rest for five minutes before you fry. In the meantime, you can put up your oil on a medium-low heat. So, so to fry this, I'm using some Nariel coconut oil from CGA Limited. So I'm using my ice cream scoop to help me with this. I just dipped it in some of the hot oil and I'm going to scoop up small amounts and drop it into my oil. Now if you didn't have an ice cream scoop, of course you can use a spoon or you can use your hands.
You just want to give them a flip to make sure that it's cooked properly. And you're looking for a nice light golden brown color. And you also want to make sure that your heat is not too high because you want the inside of the fritter to cook properly. So once they have a nice golden color, you want to take them out, drain them and place them on some paper towels. So guys, I want to break into one of this pakora or banana pakora fritter for you guys to see. It has a nice crusty outside and pillowy soft inside with tons of veggies. So I hope you all enjoyed today's recipe. This recipe was inspired by my grandmother. She used to make this for me when I was really small and I never liked it. So it was something that I came across recently at Futon Supermarket. So I was like, you know what? In honor of my grandmother, I would make this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. It's very flavorful and very delicious. And I can't wait for you all to tell me what you think. Remember, you can also put salt fish or salted cod, chicken or shrimp to amp up the flavor. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.